Hello Scorpios and welcome to your general reading. So this is an extra reading before the June general letter coming out next week. So yeah, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Thank you for your support. We're going to dive right in Scorpio. So let's pick two cards. This is the general energy of the reading. The energy supporting you right now in the present moment. Okay, what do we have here for you? We have the Seven of Cups, which is Venus in Scorpio. So this reading could definitely be about love or about the things that you wish for, the things that you want. We have the Hangman also that came out. So Hangman is Pisces energy. You know, with this Neptune energy, there's a lot of mystery here. This is something that usually is comfortable for Scorpio. But any Pisces card can be an ending. I do feel like something is changing when it comes to the things you desire, the things that you want. You could be focused on a new goal, on a new person, on a new situation. We'll see what the tarot has to say. But this is going to be really interesting. The Seven of Cups is like an invitation always to look at the things that you wish for. So something is going to be changing about that. And the hangman is a rebel energy. Okay, let's see. Page of Cups. Yeah, all water energy. We have Page of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Seven of Swords in the reverse for you, Scorpio. So I definitely feel like there could be something happening, like someone coming, uh, expressing their love to you with the Hierophant. This is about the throat chakra, Taurus energy, of course. I feel like something has been moving really slow. You've been wanting an answer, wanting to find clarity within uh, a situation or whatever it is. But there's something really special here. Uh... As much as you want this, as much as you have this attraction towards this person and situation, you're not taking it too seriously. And I like that. The Page of Cups is a lot about our ability to play and have fun in any situation. But with the Hierophant here, this is the confirmation that you have a lot of love for something or someone. We'll clarify, of course, because I want to know more about this. Seven of Swords in the Reverse I do feel like you want more. Again, you've been waiting for someone to either come and express how they feel. Uh, you've been maybe waiting for some type of answer, apology. I feel like someone owes you an explanation about something. Uh, there could have been a period of silence, of pause between you and another person. It doesn't have to. With the hangman, I feel like... It looks uncomfortable, but you're actually doing great. You're actually um, making the best out of what is given to you. But something has been... It's been a long time coming. Like, finally a message. Finally an answer. And I feel like it could be happening really fast. Like, before the end of May. What do we have? We have the emperor and the empress that came out together. This is the power couple. So there's a lot of potential between you and someone else uh, to create a long lasting, stable um, connection, relationship. Again, it, it's not always about love. It's coming out a lot in the readings right now. I don't know if it's because summer is here. I feel like... With the Emperor, this is a confirmation that there is a new beginning. Something ended and now something is like ready to be birthed. Something is ready to start, to finally happen. So Emperor, Empress, this is the ultimate power couple. Uh, we have the Three of Swords in the reverse that came out also. So this is coming up after a really difficult conversation that needed to happen. I do feel, Scorpio, like you deserve answers. And someone is going to give you finally the answers you've been seeking. Um, I do feel like this could have been a period of pause. Could be what a Taurus doesn't have to. It could be with anyone. It could be another water sign. But there is something here about a disconnection. 
we always love each other. There's always this attraction. The connection is always here. But we have this period of pause, a slow moving energy. But I think it needed to happen because, again, there was a really serious conversation about to happen. And it was supposed to happen that way. Tell me more. You might hear my little puppy running around. She's like four months old and she's, she's running around like constantly. I don't know if you, you'll hear her, but okay. Okay, fabulous. So your energy is coming up with the four of pentacles. There's something really beautiful here. Opening up, letting the past die. It's supposed to happen this way. I feel like this is definitely a life-changing time for you. We already have one, two, three, four, five major arcana. So whatever happened between you and this person, whatever happened when it comes to your desires, when it comes to the things that you want and how this changed recently, it was supposed to happen that way. I do feel like it, it's been painful, but you kept that for yourself i don't necessarily feel like the people around you know what you've been going through you definitely miss someone again you're not letting it affect your external life or like how hard you work and you making money you being focused on yourself but i'm gonna be honest i definitely feel like you miss someone i'm not saying they're perfect I'm not saying they treated you right, <laughs> you know, the whole time. There's something here that feels uncomfortable uh, with the Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, even if they are in the reverse. I feel like it's been really difficult, but things are going to be much more stable. And this is like happiness after a huge storm. We have the chariot, another major arcana. This is cancer energy. So with this energy, we are in moon energy. So we never know. There's so much mystery here. Like, okay, I'm willing to have this conversation. I'm willing to reunite with you and give you a chance. But I don't know. I don't want to promise you anything because I don't know what will happen in the future. But we have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So there is a brand new beginning energetically. It could be with a past person. It could be with a new person. We're going to take, let's take the Hermetic deck. I want to dive deeper into this energy. What is happening? You're definitely on top of your game. Again, it's been difficult emotionally for you, Scorpio. It doesn't take anything away from how much you're thriving when it comes to your business, to your stability, to your money. I think that you're definitely working hard and creating some type of legacy, creating some type of comfortable life for yourself. But again... The heart wants what it wants. There is someone that you've been missing. Ace of Cups came out of the deck again. So someone is offering something to you. You could also be the one coming through, offering this person, you know, let's have a conversation. Let's just talk at least. Uh, but I do feel like there's going to be a change in the energy when it comes to love. Is this about a new person or a past person? What do we have here? Knight of Cups. Yeah, I definitely feel like with this version, I feel like it's someone you already know with the Knight of Cups from the Hermetic deck. Um, there's someone that's been in your life for quite a while. It's been really difficult for the two of you. I don't know why it's been so difficult. Maybe because you love each other so much. Maybe because you are complete opposite, but the attraction is always here. Um, Queen of Cups, Justice, Two of Swords. Someone has been really undecisive. Uh not knowing exactly what they want. There could have been lies also on either side. There could have been a third party situation, but I feel like someone was so undecisive. Like, do you want to be with me or not? Why are you playing games? Why is this so complicated? And why are you keeping so many things from me? Nine of swords, yeah. 
This person kept you in your head like constantly. Someone was playing games, Scorpio. Someone has been keeping you up at night and I think you've been keeping them up at night. Tell me more. Why is this relationship so complicated? Four of pentacles. Okay, there's codependency, definitely. Um, my puppy is literally running up and down the stairs. I'm trying not to laugh. So with the four of pentacles, this is Capricorn energy. Okay, so I connect this card with the devil, of course. There is something attaching you to this person that can feel unhealthy it can feel like codependency. I think it's the attraction. I'm going to be honest. I feel like, especially seeing the emperor, your energy here, four of pentacles two times, seven of cups, there is a lot of sexual tension between you and this person. The attraction is like completely out of this world. And that has been really hard for the both of you. It's like, even if you're trying to be mature and have a serious conversation, there's always this feeling of, I want to turn the other person on. I want to be with you physically. It's like, I don't know, someone has been feeling like, can we just shut up and be together physically? Kind type of energy is what I'm feeling. Ten of cups. See the cups? They're overflowing with water. This is a really overwhelming energy. And I feel like there was so many external things that needed to be addressed, that needed to be dealt with, but it was kept secret. There was a lot of secret in that connection. I don't know if it's on your side, on their side, could be both sides. It's It was really hard to communicate and be real and be clear and open with each other because I don't know there could have been someone who was super codependent there could have been someone who was really jealous in the relationship but I feel like it's been hard the star knight of pentacles and the hangman yeah so much secret but again the love is here and I feel like the fact that it was impossible to be completely honest and open with each other again it could be about a third party could be about so many things, but it created just a blockage and it's been moving so slow. The thing is that it was kind of a blessing in disguise because it helped you both to heal something really specific. It could be connected to the inner child with the page of cups. I feel like you both got confronted with the way you love, the way you let love, and also maybe repetitive patterns when it comes to the type of people you usually date or the type of people you're usually attracted to. And I feel like it hasn't been easy to face that. Okay, I'm taking another deck and I want to dive deeper into the possible outcome between the two of you. Possible outcome. Four cards wanting to come out. Four of cups in the reverse, two of swords in the reverse, devil in the reverse and page of swords, a brand new beginning and a powerful one. How can we be honest with each other? How can we realize that we were codependent, that what we had wasn't necessarily healthy for the both of us? And how can we open up a little bit more? Even if it hurts, like even if the truth hurts, it's it's going to have to happen. And with the page of swords, there's this energy of, okay, we've been through a lot. We've been through many tower moments, but we can do it. Even if this feels impossible right now, trust me, impossible is for the unwilling. And that's so true. And I really feel like it feels impossible at the moment, but you're going to be really shocked and surprised when you finally have this difficult conversation. Love on both sides with the justice card. Love never left the room. Like Love never left this connection. There is something really magical about the two of you. There's something really 
special that you can't quite understand, but your boat in your head a lot. I don't know if you're both overthinkers, if you're both like anxious people. I don't know what it is. It feels like you're in your head constantly about everything. And when you try to express how you feel, it doesn't come up in, in a way that is well understood by the other person. Let's put it that way. King of Swords, yeah. You're both choosing honesty from now on. The moment this relationship start fresh, and listen, I, I, it could be a friendship, it could be starting slow, but I think you both want each other in your life. I do feel like there is so much love here, and at the end of the day, you're going to do what it takes. This person is definitely going to do what it takes to have you in their life. Someone miss you so much. I think that you both miss each other, but I definitely feel like it could be an earth sign because there's like so much earth here. It could be anyone, but I feel like someone definitely miss you. You left a mark on this person's heart. It's like you change everything. You inspire them. They love the way that you think. They love the way that you live your life. There's something so free about you, so independent, like a rebel type energy with the hangman. And I do feel like this person, they could have settled for less. I think that in the past or maybe right now, they are trapped in an energy that they don't really like, that they're not really content with. And they see you and they see the possibility with you. And I think that it's kind of driving them crazy a little bit. Let's pick some Oracle cards. Bring love into the situation. Be bold and make the first move. Listen. There's, there's still so much love between the two of you. And I think that this is definitely not over. I do feel like right now or in the recent past you both believe that this was over but it's not there's at least a friendship here there's something that again will be born out of this connection uh it doesn't mean quite literally of course but i feel like there could be something that you want to create together really meaningful conversations like life-changing conversations I feel like right now, you're both in the ego, you're both in your mind about it. There's a lot of frustration. There's a lot of maybe jealousy, again, codependency that created this unhealthy energy around you guys. But when you bring love into the situation, be bold and make the first moves, everything is going to change. If you've been wanting to reach out, do it. And I feel like, I hope that if any cross watcher is watching, if you've been wanting to reach out to Scorpio, do it. I'm not here to tell you what to do, of course, but in that situation, I definitely feel like taking action could really help. Callie, step into the unknown. Do not be afraid. There's definitely fear right now on both sides. How are they going to react? How is Scorpio going to react? Are you done with me? New moon, fresh start and new beginnings. Everything is talking about a chance for a new beginning between you and this person. Listen, I feel like the general energy of this reading, it's, it's not over between the two of you. It's really not. Again, this reading is not going to be for everyone. Take it how it resonates. But I might do a part two. Make sure to like this video. Um, and I, I, I do want to dive deeper into this connection. And also I want to pick more cards about you and what's happening in your life. So we'll see. I might do a part two. I think that this is definitely worth, um, the dive. Okay. So thank you so much for being here, Scorpio. Take care of yourself and do not be afraid to step into the unknown when it comes to that connection because someone loves you very, very, very much. Okay? Bye-bye, Scorpio.